All right, Libras. This is another love reading for you, family of light. All right. So, if you have never been here before, welcome. And if you are a returner, why, welcome back, my friend. We're using a very colorful deck, which I absolutely adore. And please make sure that you give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. All right. So the overall card here is the Wheel of Fortune. This is you, this is them, and this is the storyline. Flip these two as it resonates with you. So you've got the Nine of Pentacles, the Moon card, and the Eight of Cups. You're thinking about walking away from something, and you're feeling like there's, there's something that isn't being revealed to you. Sorry, I'm looking at the pictures because they're, you know, the pictures have so much information within them as well. So with this nine of pentacles, it is being prosperous and single and, you know, doing well money-wise. So you've got the five of swords here. You feel like you've been kind of, um, interesting, like, I You've been doing something that you've been making lots of money at, but it's like swallowing swords. So you might want to rethink how you are making your money. Now the moon card, what is that? Temperance card. Tell me more about that. In time, things will be revealed to you. With the eight of cups comes the chariot. Yeah, it's like as you move forward down the the journey, things are going to become more open to you. And when the nine of swords here for your person, it's the dark night of the soul. You know, it's these two little monsters holding or having the mask and holding the swords. But I'm also getting that these are just masks that it's not really real. But the Nine of Cups here too, it's that Wish Fulfillment card. And with the Seven of Pentacles here, I feel like there's a long journey ahead. You know, there you might even know them from work. So that your person does want to be with you, but they're with the sun card here with the nine of swords. They're just, it's like they're playing coy or they're not really being honest. And that's why this moon card is here for you. And then patience, they want their wish fulfillment. Wow. And it is the four of wands. So they do want this to be the end game of the two of you being together here with the Wheel of Fortune. But they're, they, they have to move through something. There's some sort of um, self-esteem issue that's holding them back. And here with the Seven of Pentacles is the Knave of Pentacles. It's like they're they're focusing on the money like you're focusing on the money and there's some sort of imbalance like whatever you guys are doing if it's something that you're doing together there's something that is not being done in integrity like the company that you're working with doesn't have integrity something to that effect and with the world card here comes the hierophant so it's the end of a cycle it's gathering all of the information and making a a commitment of taking action together 
in this situation that the two of you find yourself in. So here is the two of swords here. So it's like this stalemate, this impasse. But I feel like you guys have made a pact here. Yeah, like you guys have a really good connection with a twin flame soulmate, kind of a friend connection thing. You know, and this might not even be romantic. Or, you know, the romance has not begun yet. Because here's the lover's card here. See, and there's... It's interesting because... Here's the, the lovers here, but there's someone who's kind of watching, and then there's somebody else who's watching. You know, it's almost like vying energies. Somebody wants this to stop this, and somebody wants it to happen. So the Wheel of Fortune, give me more information about that, guys. The Tower. Yeah, there's going to have to be some sort of um, tower moment, to be honest. It's like something needs to change. Something needs to happen. And I don't think the two of you can do it. Like you want to, you might have made a pact that you're going to do it, but there's some sort of insecurity or um, not necessarily trusting each other fully quite yet. You know, but here with the keep going back to this card here of the nine of swords with your person. It's like the two of you have this, I don't know if I can get it, the mask on and you're unsure, or your person's unsure that you guys are not going to stab each other in the back. And then on top of that is the clarification of the twins with the sun card. So I think there needs to be some masks that need to be taken off. And your person has a little bit of fear. This is an interesting reading, Libras. It's like there's some sort of outside force that is affecting this. Or you guys are in both in a toxic situation that you both want to get out of. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yeah, there's, you know, and it's hard to walk away from good money. But, you know, it is interesting that these two cards are snakes or whatever the heck this is. But it's like both of you are feeling like you're snakes or that there's this journey or there's this, these swords that you have to swallow to be able to do the work that you're doing or the thing that you guys are doing. Whatever you're doing, it's... Um, it doesn't sit right with either of your souls. And I think that both of you are kind of like each other's wake up call to move past and above the situation. And there's gonna to have to be a tower here. So if you weren't trusting them or they weren't trusting you, and that's what the moon card is. So there needs to be trust. <laughs> there needs to be trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So, I mean, this is where you guys really have to trust each other. And if this is resonating with you, please leave a thumbs up because it spreads it out to others that need to hear this healing message. But also, because if you've been here before, you know I'm nosy, leave a message on like what this situation is. Like what is this outer situation that you guys feel like you need to get away from? Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. <laughs> Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Mm. Interesting religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Who knows? Might, you guys might even be, you know, going, be in the same religion where you're like, wow, we need to get away from this situation. This isn't what we thought it was. You know, here it is. 
heart to heart conversation. That's what you need to have with your person is a heart to heart conversation. Because what you guys are learning about the preparation, the, the religious thing you're in, whatever it is that you're doing together, you know, it's, this is about learning and growing. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Wow. And here's deception. Second card up of that with those masks on. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So there's going to need to be that heart to heart conversation. And you're going to have to trust that the two of you are really going to do this thing that you guys want to do. You know, but always remember, go on your own intuition. Loving yourself first. Okay, so I want to switch gears here. Contract. Tell me more about this. Okay, so for those of you who you guys work together, there's some sort of contract that the two of you are going to have to break. You know, it could be a confidentiality. You know, you guys need to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation and trust. And I know it seems in the energy that I'm in here, I can see why you would be worried. But I feel that your person feels the same way that you do. And interestingly, Goddess of the Moon came out. Remember, I kept talking about the Moon card. So, Goddess of the Moon, tell me more about what to expect here with the Unseen. Trusting that everything will work out will make it work out. There might be some twists and turns and some unexpected players in the mix. But there's others who feel like the two of you do. There's others who also want to get away from the situation. They're seeing that there is inequity here. And um, what I'm hearing is bigotry. So you guys are not the only ones. And you guys are actually going to be beacons of light for others to get away from this situation as well. And then you can call upon the angel of strength. You know, have the strength to know that you can move past this. You know, and for all we know right now, you guys could be in a cult. You know, corporations are cults. When you think about it, you got to drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's not funny, but it is. <laughs> all right. So what is it that you guys want to explore here bluff huh? see and that's why you guys are scared and that's why you guys have masks on because you're like well, what if you're just bluffing and you're not really going to do it and then I'll be standing there alone you know excommunicating, excommunicating myself or being a whistleblower or quitting you know or breaching this contract but there is devotion here And, you know, both of you have a lot of fear here. I, th I feel like both of you have a lot to lose here. But I think that you guys are going to gain more than you lose. You know, here's friendship. Again, it's come up. So with this friendship, you know, it's this collaboration. And then you guys are also concerned that this is just a friendship. Now, oh, cards flying. And they're saying here, you know, yeah, this situation could cause some publicity or, you know, uncertainty or you'd have to be adaptable in the situation. But it's obviously going to cause an uproar within the organization or the religious situation that you are in. Or whatever you find yourself in here. So, and you know, this one is intriguing me like nobody's business. So please comment down below what it is for you. I am dying to know and I haven't even done 
finished this reading yet, people. <laughs> All right. Fascinating. So detachment and see how the brain has been kind of mapped out. I mean, you guys could be very well dealing with a very strange corporation with lots of control mechanisms, which is every corporation, rules, policies, procedures, you know, and with the, the cult, you know, aspect or the religious aspect, there's this compartmentalizing what is appropriate and what isn't. And that's why you guys want to get out of there. Fortune. Tell me more about this, guides. They're saying that you will not actually lose your fortune or, you know, because earlier I was talking about money. So it's actually going to be a fortunate thing. Things are going to turn out. So if you're worried about money, don't be. It might be rocky for a little bit, but think better things are coming. So let me see. I thought I saw a card flip out here. Give me one more card here with the Radiant Oracle. Okay. Yeah, so you guys are feeling very, very isolated. But remember what I said. You are not the only two who want this to end, change, shift, whatever. There is whistleblower action in that one. So is there romance that will be had after this is over? So it was discrimination. So it's choosing, choosing what best suits you. Because I think there's going to be a transition with you guys. Principle, tell me about this. Yeah, you guys are going to have to like really stand on your principle, what you think is right. It could even be, you know, with this contract here, some sort of legal matter after the whistle is blown. Will this end? Okay impulsiveness tell me more about this the guys are saying as long as you're not impulsive and other people are going to label the two of you as impulsive for doing what you've done but I think you guys are gonna be like the way showers the game changers like I said here yeah you're gonna cause a rebellion All right, so let's pull one more card and see. Oh, they want to use this one. Is this going to turn into a romantic situation? The Queen of Cups. Yes, there is love here. Will this turn into a romantic situation? Yeah. Someone's going to be coming towards you fast. And you're just, you know, be careful with your money and how you spend it. But yes, there is love here. And I think it's going to be able to grow in more calmer waters when this gets, you know, when the heartbreak of this situation that, that you're trying to get away from can happen. Okay. So what else here? There'll be lots of communication, money. And this is the second part of the lovers. All right, you guys. Do this together. Talk to each other. Have a heart to heart. And I hope that this was helpful. Please leave a comment if this, if this um, resonated with you. I am fascinated. All right, you guys. I'll see you on the flip side. It's Medium of the Light Tarot.